Hello, this is Michael Wojcik here and today I will play the game Need for Conquest. I will choose World Domination. I haven't played this for some time. Uh, I mean seriously because I was I was playing it for tests for the game, but I haven't played this seriously for a, for a long time. Uh, it is obviously a classic map, uh, the most the most basic, the most classic, but still, uh, let's try to have some fun. Uh, rules classic, which means that you can capture a lot of a lot of uh, territories uh, during your attack phase, as many as you can. Uh, AI level computer play a marshal the, the highest possible and yeah let's let's see what we will get and right uh, so what should be our strategy normally I like to start obviously as everyone does with Australia but Australia seems to be out of reach uh, Africa we might try to think about conquering Africa first or South America. I will go for South America. I will go for South America. Uh, I have already Mexico, so I can uh, I can start building my armies here. And my plan will be to invade South America. But first I will gather some forces there so yeah, let's see how a uh, computer will play uh it's trying to draft its armies uh, right uh, the, that was a kind of smart move in australia he just gathered its forces in one place which is good uh okay nine armies in mexico uh that's still that's still not enough to to successfully invade south america so i will still uh wait and build up build up my armies there uh let's see if there is any potential threat uh, the blue is the dark blue is trying. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, purple is 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 definitely uh, trying to capture uh, Australia and start from that. Let's see how. Okay, he is not very close to that because uh, there is yellow here with seven armies, uh, so he will still need to collect some armies. Let's add three armies to Mexico and start to decide if it's enough because I will I will really try to capture South America in one go. Uh, here is a difficulty. I will need to put in Brazil more than five armies to be uh, to be protected from attack from North Africa. Uh, so yeah, I I don't like to count, you know. I, I don't like like to count too much because I think this is spoiling the fun. Uh, so I try to be a, a, a bit more intuitive in in my moves. Ah, right. This is interesting. 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 Um, things happens there in Australia uh, because it looks like yellow took initiative. Uh, let's let's look on the Australia what happened here uh, hopefully hopefully they will be cancelling each other because now uh, yellow took initiative uh, now purple will try to again uh, fight for Australia so they will they will most likely cancel each other but look look at this here the light blue light blue is trying to take Africa is it but he, 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 he is still far from that uh, right uh, should I yeah I will I just like to have 
big armies and some kind of overkill, so I will still gather my my armies and wait. As I as I started to say, I don't like to be very precise in that game because that's spoiling a fun. You you need to be intuitive, and I, I believe that intuition should should be enough to uh, to win in that game and uh, to have to have fun. Uh, 18, 18 armies, 18 armies. Now, uh, what my intuition uh, tells me is it is it enough to capture South uh, South America? Uh, my intuition tells me that that's enough to capture it and to be protected against uh, South Africa. Let's let's put my intuition in into the test. So yeah, let's try to uh, just capture. Yeah, we have ten armies in Brazil. Uh, and I would I would divide it I would divide it into 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 half uh, or almost half. So in the face of move, I will just move the let's say four four. But I I don't need so many there, so I, I will move only three. Uh, and now now I should be protected from counter-attack, so I think my continent is quite stable at the moment. My continent should be stable. Uh, I'm not sure if computer will really be able to pose any threat in, 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 in this game. He probably was kind of unlucky displaced. Uh, Right. Let's let's look here. Let's look, first of all. Let's try to try to see uh, the stats. Yeah, the, everything seems to be uh, fine here. We have uh, maximal draft. Um, no one else captured any any continent. Uh, now, what should be our next goal? North America or Africa? I would say, you know what? No one really is going to capture any other continent anytime soon. So I would probably go for North Africa as, uh, and that's for the reason because the in invasion of North Africa is, is relatively simple from uh, from South America. Uh, have I said? North Africa or North America? I, I don't, I, I can't remember now. But if I said, in a, if I use the wrong name of continent, I'm very sorry. Uh, right. So uh, all I will need to do is to leave enough forces here in Brazil and start my start gathering forces to make a successful invasion of North America and I really would like if any of my computer opponents start capturing some continent because otherwise there is there is no fun so let's let's see what they are doing uh, they are obviously Obviously, they're smart enough to know that they need to gather forces first. They, they, they can't just capture and leave too few armies uh, to, to have some territories recaptured. So, so this is why this kind of uh, building phase takes so long. And I, I, I'm also doing that. I, I, I don't attack immediately. However, now I, I, I think I can because I can divide my... Uh, my 14 armies into two groups uh, yeah this is uh, you, can you see this this scroll paper it's intended to be a scroll paper it tells you what will be your result uh, so how many of your armies will 
stay on the on the target territory after your victory it also can show you if you are not successful how many of enemy armies will be left in the target territory so here i have 14 armies if i attack and succeed uh I will have 12 left, which will leave me with six, with six on both uh, on both territories, which is which is still perfectly fine. So, uh, I think uh, yeah, prediction worked perfectly. And now in the move phase, uh, remember we have only one move uh, during the move phase uh, when we choose rules classic. Uh, let's just. Yeah, I divided this into two, and let's see if there will be any threat. For now, it's like you know, it's like uh, I, I can't really say how easy it is. You just made a plan and you do what you want. I will attack here because I can steal two territories at my borders and I will try to more or less equalize armies. in them let's hope i didn't forgot to reinforce brazil yeah i will tell you something i will tell you something it's in a kind of deadlock there in look here it's the the yellow and purple are in a de in a certain deadlock because purple can't attack easily all of this and 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 have enough however let's just see if it attacked it yeah that's that that's its problem it is not certain that 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 it can win this because it's still it has still certain probability that it might uh, be left with with um, no armies here that he he might not capture this this territory so this is his problem and this is a kind of deadlock uh but uh, this is not my problem this is not my problem i will reinforce a bit brazil just to avoid some surprises from uh, north africa uh, is there any chance light blue will capture Africa anytime soon? Uh, not, not yet. However, this eight sounds promising. So maybe, 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 maybe. But I will still go further here. And if I will, if I will capture North America, then I'm afraid nothing will stops me. So that will be that will be pretty easy win. That will be pretty easy win. I will not attack now. I will have more forces. Yeah, it looks like it looks like the win will be pretty easy. Right. Okay. Let's observe this. Ah. Uh, that's the problem they took some land of the yellow but they didn't finish it off so now yellow will be able to counter attack mm, and they still can't capture Australia which is really slowing uh, them down while I will be able to continue my conquest of North America 
And here, if I will uh, now, now the question is uh, really very simple. Uh, should I divide my armies into three? Or should I gather a bit more forces? Six. And just capture everything at once and just use these two armies and obviously locate them on the border territories of North America which are Greenland and Alaska uh, yeah I think I will wait I will wait and I will observe what's going on here but there is there is no challenge there is no challenge it is not always like that but today there is no challenge at all right let's see let's see ah good 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 the purple the purple took australia so now we have and the light blue took africa so we at least have two competitors let's see let's see how does it look so you see how 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 intelligently it, it it did it 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 it's just defending africa from these three territories which are boundary territories for africa uh he doesn't do this very well because if i i can easily capture north africa and stop him from having continent which uh which is giving him a uh, right what's going on here ah okay okay the light uh, light blue is uh, light blue is here so uh, he has in in fact higher draft than me so he is p potentially strategically a threat and purple has five the same uh, with purple with purple, there is this kind of problem that I can't do anything very quickly with 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 him. So uh, now, now the question: the question is, do we want to make it more challenging and try to not interfere in this African kingdom, just protect, just to protect ourselves and build up forces? in North America or we will interfere and obviously slow down light blue a bit I, I, I think I will let him act just to make it a bit more interesting because he is now developing a bit faster than the, the, than we so we need to quickly capture uh, North America so uh, I think I will try to risk it with purple. I can't do anything right now. So yeah, let, let, let's make it a bit more, a bit more challenging. Uh, here we don't. Uh, yeah, let's let's put one more here because he, no, no, no. Even even because Africa can uh, can put like up to six up to six armies in north africa so i uh, i need to be careful i need to be careful here i need to be really careful here uh now let's see how much how many armies i will have left if i attack uh east canada mm, 10 to 12 10 to 12 which will be still enough to capture alaska and how many do i need to have in alaska more than six uh yes that sounds reasonably uh now here 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 it, 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 this is not ready yet because eight will be too too few to attack quebec later and still have enough forces in greenland so we need to wait we need to wait and let light blue and purple uh, to develop this, this is very interesting mm, okay dark blue reinforced uh, now yes yeah, a very very logical move for purple uh, just to gather its forces uh, together the, the, the same you i'm not sure if you have noticed this uh, 
the light blue moved its forces from South Africa to Congo because it's trying to move uh, its forces uh, somewhere to the border. Uh, our situation is Bra Brazil is still very stable. Uh, here I, I wanted to say this, uh, that um, Purple also uh, moved its forces from Brunei to uh, Cambodia. Uh, and now it's probably trying to cap to, to start its invasion in uh, in Asia. Uh, but yeah, let's let's leave it let's leave it for now and try to plan our uh, our invasion of North uh, America. Uh, if we add five here, will be this enough? Uh, let's see how many uh, we will have left. Fourteen. Fourteen will be still uh, enough, probably. Uh, to mm, no, 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 no. I would, I would wait one more, one more round. However, however, this is the this is the thing. I don't need. 14 here because I will have 12 9 in the worst case scenario. I will move 6 here. Let's look. Yes uh, 6 let's say 7 so I will be left with 2 Right so 2 will not give me much But if I will be left with 6, six I, I will be able to capture at least this with the remaining forces uh no, 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 no. Next time. Next time. Let's do this next time. And let's see what computer is planning here. That is very good for us because if uh, Dark Blue is attacking, it's weakening its uh, defensive uh, abilities. Uh, so. We have 11, 11. That's that's something we need to improve. We need to improve this. We need to improve this. You, you see, you see, this decision to to let it live for a while cost us a lot because we need to now reinforce Brazil, and that will slow our invasion plans at least one round. So, yeah, the purple. Purple is, is, is gathering forces here. It will start invading uh, Asia. Uh, we might even have some conflict between them, which will be really good for us. Uh, this 12 in France might be potential threat at some point to Greenland. So let's let's hope I will not uh, I will not be over optimistic. Uh, in this to 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 have this game so challenging that i might lose uh yes so light blue is still six uh in draft uh purple five uh the others three uh which makes uh blue still a bit strategically stronger than me uh and yet i will wait wait another round to capture north uh America, which gives me really a, a thrill. Alright, uh, dark blue, now purple, purple. Are you attacking? Not yet, not yet, not yet. Ah, uh, you see, you see, the guy is keeping us on, on guard. Uh, in theory, in theory, I should I should simply, uh, I should simply uh, draft here, uh, and I will do, but not, not as many as the worst case scenario. So we are risking a bit uh, the successful attack from North Africa. But let's let's look at this. Ah, uh, this is this is a very good indicator, because. It, computer can't be really sure uh, that it will capture us so uh, so that's 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 good that's a good indicator uh, now we have three armies left 
we'll put them here and we will do something uh five in iceland mm, what we will have after after capturing ontario uh at least 14 next uh let's see so if we attack with 14 we can have 13 13 does all, there will be like uh 11 11 here let's say and yeah this is pretty enough this is pretty enough and uh with this force we can uh we can still uh you know what one more one more because i need to also capture this north canada i think so i will wait one more round right 15 in france they are scaring me they are scaring the hell of me but green luckily have 10 in great britain which makes impossible for france to to attack and have still enough forces to be a potential threat 16 18 uh, just give it a let's say one to be a bit safer and here 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 we will put two more no let's say three more and one more to east states uh now i think i have more than enough so 11 is our worst case scenario let's see what it is. 13 which is which is better than worst case scenario uh right 11 11, 11 is a uh, way too much uh too many then we have six it 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 can have uh maximally nine in chukotka because uh, the dark blue can top up uh, three three armies uh, so let's easily let's easily attack with uh, with two armies capture north canada now ontario Ontario with at least 15 of our uh, armies remaining. Attack 16, one better than worst case scenario. Quebec 13, which is uh, still better than worst case scenario. And with 11, and we have, we captured North uh, America. And we are quite good here. We are actually quite good here. Uh, potential threat from uh, dark blue is um, absolutely not possible. But these five armies of dark blue protects us against uh, potential attack from 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 green. So we don't need to really worry about this uh, for now. Uh, nine against six that's fine uh, so we have still 19 here we that's that's the worst potential threat because if if light blue will put everything uh, what it has in in north africa it might still uh, capture brazil uh, so that's a little danger uh, let's see here our total draft if if we will survive to the next round will be 12 which is uh, pretty uh, pretty 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 many and it's it will give us uh, double s du double s uh, light light blue so our our growth will be really 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 good but still we need to wait and see if light blue will not capture brazil because i did it in a bit risky in a bit risky way
Let's see here. And let's not forget purple. The purple should... Yes. Okay. They, they, they attacked and uh, divided forces. Um, what happened here? 19, 19. Okay, so it can't attack. 12, 12. N now, now, what we do now? Because, in fact, we already won this game. I don't think anyone can uh, be a real threat against us. Uh, so now, should we should we attack light blue immediately, or maybe maybe we should let them leave and just wait till they develop and see if they will be able to capture Europe or maybe purple Asia. So it will make uh, our uh, play a bit more interesting and we will at, at this point as we have so much advantage we will just play uh, a very civilized a very civilized uh, uh, civilization uh, which is not attacking uh, if, 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 if we don't need to we are just gathering our forces and we will maybe act somewhere just to balance the forces so it's a it's a very uh, we, we will still be contained in our territories. We will only enforce our border, our border forces, and we will just wait for the development of the rest of the world. And as a great superpower, we will intervene if something will uh, start to threaten us or will go wrong for example we might try to we might try to with our superpower position we can try to avoid for example elimination of um, other um, other players it will be like uh, preventing genocides so uh, yeah this is this is a very cool role in in which we can uh, we can be uh, let's add uh, a superpower, a, a civilized, a civilized superpower. So let's uh, let's add a bit more here to be even more uh, superpower. Um, what we can do from this? Uh, look how easily we can prevent. We can prevent, in fact, anyone from 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 this position that we have. We can prevent anyone from just win one in one one uh, successful uh, capture uh, we can prevent having africa we can prevent having europe we can prevent having asia so the only continent which we immediately can't control is australia but australia gives uh, just uh, five um, well it gives two but together with uh, with a minimal minimal uh, draft it gives only five five armies so uh, we are really we are really in, in in the position of superpower who can dictate who can uh, dictate uh, the world uh, and we will be doing it we will be doing it and but but okay 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 here is a challenge here is a challenge for us uh, let's try to protect let's try to protect uh, dark blue from being eradicated and to do this uh, unfortunately we need to uh, attack in South Africa and we need to destroy all these forces and then let we will let uh, we will let dark blue uh, to to expand a bit so ah but dark blue has also two other two other territories so maybe maybe not yet we, we, we don't need to worry too much about about it so so uh, yeah let's let's wait a bit let's just uh, reinforce a bit our our forces and don't react yet let's just let's just assume for now 
until we decide just very quickly to finish off and 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 uh, capture the whole world uh, let's just pretend we trying to prevent any genocide any uh, any extinction of a given given player that's a that's a that's a really cool role for the superpower isn't it uh, right so uh, I just I just feel like you know like United States of America uh, which is in fact okay we start from South uh, America but we can we can imagine we are we are we are United States which are controlling the the, the world uh, right right so uh, let's uh, let's put here Let's add here and before. Let's control world statistics. If we are still a really a superpower, uh, let's see. Uh, we are twice as big as anyone else. No, not really, not really. I forgot about. Uh, wow! So light blue, light light blue is quite a superpower as well, but. The potential development is uh, is uh, slower than ours, uh, but so let's say blue is like Russia, right? Uh, if we are United States, the the, the light blue is like Russia. Uh, so let's just wait what they will be doing, and for now we don't need to intervene because uh, no one is uh, yet threatened to be extinct uh, probably blue is right the thing which worries me the most is that we will need to to, to, to go and intervene in in Europe we will need to destroy a uh, dark uh, dark blue and this is this is really frustrating <laughs> Let's add a few armies to each border territory and just see the development of the world. Okay. Dark blue is quite aggressive, it's quite aggressive. Let's see if... I just wonder when purple will start to, to do something. But you, you you know why? I will explain you why. Uh, purple is not progressing uh, fast. Because to capture India, it will immediately be exposed to these 19 armies. So uh, it can't easily divide the forces. Uh, to match this 19 in Middle East, so this is a really good, uh, good strategic thing for the light blue to keep uh, these forces in Middle East and uh, North Africa is yeah the, 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 they have quite, quite many armies. Uh, still, we don't need to intervene, but, but what we can do is we can now because. Uh, Dark blue is relatively safe. Let's see. Uh, okay, we have all all players still alive. Uh, let's try to keep them as long as possible. Now we can invade Iceland, and uh, it will be still uh, as good as uh, as it is now because Iceland will be our border uh, border territory, and we will not eliminate dark blue now so yeah we will and we will have access to to the europe to be able to intervene in in europe if needed i just wonder if not to decrease the number of units in france because it's threatening a much uh, green so I, I just wonder if not to do a, a short invasion just to limit the number of forces in in, 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 in France. That will be our subtle intervention in, in, in Europe. Uh, and we will do this next 
Uh, next round. We will do this next round. This is how superpower act, uh, isn't it? Doesn't, doesn't it? In fact. Uh, yeah. You see, this is this is this is the art of domination. You you you, you don't just capture everyone. You don't just capture all territories. You control. And this is the true joy. To be able to influence the situation. But what worries me is that I can't really influence the situation in Australia. And to do this, I probably would like to locate my forces in India. And from India, I would be able to do some short... Uh, short... Uh, interventions in Australia so probably probably I will do something to uh, start my little colony in in India but for now let's do what I said let's limit let's limit the number of armies in France so that will be our first uh, humanitarian mission uh, Let's think how many we need to leave in Iceland of our forces uh, to protect it. I think something around uh, 13 will do. Ah, uh, but this is... So, that will be a bit random. We can lose, but this is, but this is you know, the problem of each superpower. They can lose in a, in a very stupid situation. Uh, that's good. And now... I'm just going to lose all my forces just to reduce the number of um, armies in France. From 22 to 17. Was it worth it? Probably not. And that's why next time I will reduce them even, even more. Uh, colony in India. Colony in India. That's a, that's a, that's an idea. That, that's the next idea, and we will go there from Alaska. But to go there from Alaska. Oh, 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 I think, I think, I think we might have problem with protecting Queen. I'm not sure if I'm not going to let them have too much at once because I'm letting them to have continents and also I try to avoid extinction extinction of any player. Uh, that might be that might be too difficult. I might not be uh, civilized enough to do this and yet I wanted to uh, start my colony in India that might be too much for superpower but isn't it isn't it what superpowers do they they sometimes take too much on themselves and then uh, disappear be destroyed mm, let's see let's see uh, we are not rich enough, in fact, to do both things together, like to start colony in India and to intervene in Europe at the same time. Uh, do we still want to reduce the number of uh, armies in France? And if so, uh, yes, because we are protecting green and uh, this green is very threatened. But at some point we... We need to reduce also the number of uh, armies in China. And yeah, we, we don't yet have forces to do this. So uh, we are not as comfortable. So I would say, but yes, let's, let's just try to do this. Let's send some forces. This is not too effective. This is not too effective. 
we are we are losing our our forces and our result is 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 is, is very is very little probably probably uh, at some point i will need to take away africa from it and uh, just uh, yeah let's let's go further mm, that's not not so bad at least green still exists what dog dark blue seems to prosper as well but yeah this is this is the biggest threat this is the biggest threat for the world for the stability of the world uh this powerful purple and we need to we need to limit it uh however we can't yet win this we, we probably need two rounds to 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 have more or, or even or, or even more so yeah let's uh ah and, and the situation here starts to be a bit a bit threatening so maybe maybe we are not yet a strong superpower to be able to to control each aspect of the world that, that we want but but you see this is the, this is the thing we are superpower now and we have certain control but we see we can we can we, we, we can see this very clearly that we can't control every aspect we can we need to choose and this is and this is uh, the, how the situation in the world uh, looks like now uh, superpowers like uh, USA like China like Russia can have influence on the many aspects of uh, other uh, countries existence but they are not able to control them uh, in every detail in every way they want so this is still some kind of balance of the power obviously if I will start to conquer uh, concur uh, the world uh, methodically I will I will do this but I I'm letting them leave and this is a certain problem for me that I can't really control every aspect uh, and I can't have this all as I would like to because if I if I let the uh, uh, light blue to have Africa it it might become too powerful and I might be not realizing my uh, other objectives so so th this is quite tricky to be to be a superpower uh, to be a superpower uh, let's add a bit more to Alaska uh, and he he here it's a uh, yeah mm, can we now do something against uh, China not really not yet not yet so this is uh, I just wonder maybe we should invade Europe and then still if can we invade Europe and still try to keep everyone alive that's the good challenge because so you know what's the best way to keep them alive it's just to just to uh, somehow uh, surround them with my forces so if I if I for example capture all these countries here I will be sure that uh, dark blue will leave, but I probably don't have enough forces for that. So, so now, now I can't, I can't do this. But, but I think, I think, probably, yeah, and I can't now destroy Africa. Mm. We really need to make some choices to to stay to stay uh, longer as a superpower and civilized one which tries to protect the other uh, other players we need to make some choices and most likely start an invasion uh, and and uh, not allow the light blue to have Africa all the time. Mm. But our just wonder how soon how soon can we get here? <sighs> no, I, I think that without that without capturing Europe, we can't be this kind of superpower that I want us to be. But now there is a question can i start capturing europe and protect 
all other countries, at the, or, or all other players at the same time from being extinct? Uh, I don't really know. Uh, so. Okay, so he here is a change of plans. I will move I will move my troops to try to invade Europe and I will try this then then probably I will have enough power to really control everything exactly as I want. So let's first of all here still we need to be as strong as light blue we need to top here the rest and we will move a lot of our armies from Alaska to North Canada We will leave there something like uh, something like twelve. So for now, we are not doing anything with purple, and this is I'm afraid this I'm afraid might cost us blue, uh, yellow because. Yeah, this is this is this is what I'm afraid. The purple will attack here on the north of the Asia, and they will simply they will simply eradicate uh, yellow. But now, now the situation is much more easier because to to defeat purple, uh, and I can I can I can really do this now. So change of plans, change of plans. Uh, I'm going back to Alaska. I'm going back to Alaska. I'm moving back my forces to Alaska. And with this force I will I will destroy I will destroy uh, purple in China and in India. I will establish my colony in India just to be able to control uh, the South Asia region. Ah, it's even better. Okay. What happened here? Th this is now even easier for me. This is this is so much easier now. Uh Ah, th that will be very easy now to intervene here. But I need to destroy uh blue here. Let's hope it will still have enough. It, it looks like so so hmm now the biggest threat the biggest threat is light blue I need to still top up here I will just add a bit more here and now let's start our intervention in Asia uh, our goal is to destroy armies in China and establish our colony in uh, in India and from India, try to control, uh, try to control Australia if needed. Uh, that's that's a cool, that's cool, that's a cool thing. Uh, now, how many forces are we going to uh, left in Alaska? I would say 15. 15. Good. Mongolia, 49, and let's see. This is very good. We have our colony in uh, India. Everybody still lives. Uh, our draft is, is still the best. Uh, we have clearly um, our our position as superpower is is, is very clear. Uh, now with colony in India, we can really control a lot. So, yeah, I just wonder when we will need to destroy uh, light blue. Oh, 
Oh, maybe. You see, the purple immediately starts to uh, protect Australia from, from Cambodia. Uh, so, this yellow is threatened here by these powers. However, it's quite strong here. Purple is a bit uh, threatened in, uh, in uh, Cambodia. We might always reduce a bit the number of yellow not not too much not too not too much because we want uh, we want it to leave but uh, just a bit let's ah draft so yeah we will we will add uh, we will add our forces to india Now, from our colony in India, we will reduce the number of we don't know, yeah, because there is it is hard to predict now. Uh, it might be from uh, 4 to, to 15. Uh, I don't know how many of them will survive. Twelve. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty pretty good reduction of forces in in China. So now yellow is not much of a th threat for uh, purple. Uh, here green is relatively s uh, well. We don't know this because if 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 dark blue will 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 attack it, it might eradicate it. And the same is here for uh for yellow uh, so it's, it's 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 really hard hard to predict but let's hope let's hope let's hope they will still leave at some point uh, i have a feeling i have a feeling i will uh i will at some point enter into uh into the africa into africa but for now for now our superpower it seems really controlling the the world and uh, this is why uh, it's not because it's not because we were so powerful it is because the rest of the world were fighting against each other and that gave us opportunity to control uh, them even more uh, so yes um, just wonder just wonder what to do here mm. yeah I don't like this power in 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 uh, in France we we should uh, yeah you know what I'm just going to hmm, not yet not yet that's that's the problem Okay. We simply need to wherever we see someone is getting too powerful, we need to act to reduce reduce its armies. But the problem is light blue at this point is too too powerful for us. Uh, to do this, uh, just wonder, maybe, maybe not, maybe not, this is still leaving him with possibility that we will not uh, capture, and obviously, what will happen if we will be not successful here, we will be left with no troops, in no armies in Brazil, and he might be left in our worst case scenario with 28 armies in North Africa. So he might be a threat for us. Uh, let's leave it like that for now. Uh, blue, blue is threatened. Blue is threatened. We probably need to do something. Twelve, twelve against twelve. Not, not, not so bad. Not so bad. 
really this yes to stabilize the situation in the world we really need to uh, destroy this great advantage of of uh, of light blue because it has uh, this kind of so many so many armies produce a great potential instability in the region so we we need to keep all armies at at, at low level and uh, that will simply that will simply uh, ensure uh, the peace everywhere so uh, yeah to continue our being superpower which is civilized superpower which cares about others uh, we really need to destroy uh, their mm, potential uh, and this is North Africa and France in fact um, yeah I would say dark blue relatively safe ah uh, the worst situation the worst situation is in fact of uh, green and to, to 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 do something with that we need to we need to reduce the number of yellow and probably also to some extent purple but we can't reduce purple without so you know what hmm i don't know i don't want to lose india maybe next time uh, and let's see here still we can't win with like complete uh, probability of success so I don't know if it's wise to, to attack already uh, probably the risk is not too high but I will, I will wait one more round Purple is is becoming more and more powerful in the in the region. So can we can we really uh, can we really uh, control control it? Uh, if, if now I, I I I put all my forces in India, I can probably do something with the purple. But I wanted to attack at the same time in North Africa. So again again we are in this situation. Uh, that it's difficult to control on each uh, on each front. Uh, let's let's make a choice. Let's uh, let's try to uh, really. Yeah, this is this is good now. This is quite safe. And yes, at this point we prevented light blue from having. Uh, Africa, so we in fact destroyed its potential, uh, and it has still a lot of forces in France. Uh, what about green? Is green safe? Um, relatively, relatively. Uh, we might th throw a few armies on him, but then, yes, we limit it a bit. Uh, yellow in, in, in China just to protect uh, this green but that makes uh, that makes purple very powerful but that will be our next objective to limit uh, to limit purple and uh, also next time no we, we probably can't do this or, or I can how how much do I need to leave in north africa in fact not not too many let's say 17 this power i can simply destroy all armies in the france and now i have this super super power 
uh, super powerful armies in France, so I can really control uh, the whole Europe. Uh, now, I can, in fact, completely isolate the light blue. And then, let's try to isolate them all now. Hmm. So purple will be isolated here. But not yet, not yet. You know what? Let's let's end history. Let's end history. There will be the true end of history when I isolate all of them, be as powerful to not let them attack me, and it will be simply the end of history in this game. Ah! But not so soon, not so soon. It is exactly like with end of history on uh, planet earth uh, but yeah let's let's try the end of history mm, no one will be able to move but everyone will leave for eternity uh good so to do this uh light blue will be happy here uh, purple will be happy here mm, okay let's assume we will Put green somewhere here. It's doable. It's doable, right? Let's uh, let's try to leave. Uh, dark, dark blue here in Great Britain. Uh, light blue here somewhere on in the south of Africa. Purple in Australia. Let's leave us with two. With green and hmm. But we can easily left green. No, we can't. Oh, we can, we can, because we can capture Central Europe and Russia. No, but then still, uh, then still. Uh, Great Britain will uh, will have border with Scandinavia, so uh, really can't. We need to move green to Russia probably, and then maybe have this. Hmm, that's a difficult task. I know. I will leave green in Japan. Let's let's try to maybe do this one at a time, one at a time. Uh, or as many yes green 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 in japan so we will sort green immediately in fact we have 15 15 units here 17 26 uh, yeah we lost our colony in india so we 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 can't immediately act against uh against purple which a bit worries me but yeah I think I will try to pro protect uh, green now. So we will capture Ch Chakotka. So we have 27 armies there. And what? We can leave there something like how many? Nine. Uh, what have I I, I have done something wrong, but never mind. This is okay. This is okay. Uh, with eight here, okay, we kind of protect. Uh, we kind of protect uh, green. So green is settled. Now we need to protect. We need to protect. Uh, blue, and if we invade Scandinavia with some reasonable force we are now absolutely protecting uh, blue we are absolutely protecting blue and we have still 40, 40 armies here and we can use already these 40 armies 
to ah we can't move them all so Five is not too good, but if we attack, let's. And now with the move, we will move this five here. So at this point, they destroyed our. No, 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 no. Yeah, you see, you see. They are biting me. I try to protect them, but they are biting me. And this is how to be civilized superpower. How to be civilized superpower. I need to recapture North Africa. Good. What's our potential situation? Yeah, we, we are... We need to simply take continent from everyone and then they will have one two three four five three times five fifteen we have fourteen so still we will be developing a slower than the rest of the world uh, so to be honest I don't know if we can survive this if we if we will really protect any other player can we can we still survive survive this can we continue our existence like that i i just don't know uh but we can capture as many territories as we can and then uh simply left them in 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 isolated uh, territories now i really i really need to do something with purple because uh, it will be a threat here so uh yes but but here, here, look, 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 look what we did here. We, we really need to attack and withdraw some, some armies to uh, Chukotka uh, to protect, to protect uh, green. But we need to leave reasonable number in Mongolia so yeah yeah but stupid but stupid green attacked us we were trying to protect it and it attacked us and and, and now we lost we lost North America I'm, I, I'm just afraid we we can't be so civilized superpower because those who who we try to protect are attacking us now yeah we need to immediately win back north okay let's say green is safe hmm well we can't say that because <laughs> so It's hard to predict if yellow will attack us. Maybe, maybe not. But yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's 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 now very hard. Uh, yes, yellow. I'm afraid. I need to neglect my humanitarian mission and simply start to fight with with other powers because otherwise. We risk uh, being destroyed, so maybe we can't afford to be so civilized. And and you know this is this is the the, the, the next lesson about uh, about the world. You you can be civilized only if you are very powerful. And this is a very important lesson to to remember. You can be truly civilized only when you are truly. Powerful. Now what can we do? But this is this is still good we are still good. now yellow is not as powerful so we can maybe still survive this like that 
Right, let's see, let's see. Maybe, maybe we... Ah, this is so hard. This is now so hard. We probably started to be civilized too early. It sometimes happens in the history of civilization. You try to be civilized too early in your development and then the other less civilized crush you, crush you and, and, and you can't sustain your uh, civ civilization. And we might be, we might be at that moment. I still try to... What? No. Back. Uh, so seven, 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 and I mean we, <laughs> we need to attack here because accidentally uh, green might be destroyed by uh, by yellow. So to continue being so civilized to let everyone leave, we we, we need to attack here. Uh, but 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 look at purple. Purple is 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 a threat, and here here we are still safe. <sighs> here as well. I just wonder. Let's maybe... Cr no. Okay. Let's wait for the next... For the next round. I can't really... I can't really help it. So what to do? What to do there? Is there any is there any plan? Because if at some point purple will attack us in Mongolia, we will we will lose uh, ability to to defend uh, to defend uh, green. So maybe maybe we 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 fail. Maybe we can't protect green. And we are we are in fact also risking to uh... for now for now our strategy. But now this is this is simply not not sustainable. I'm afraid it can't be done. We we, we probably yeah, it can't be done. It can't be done. There is no way. There is no way now we can save uh, green. <sighs> Where is our most powerful army? In France. Can we add? our forces to France and go so far as to Mongolia to, to do something with this army. No. 14 will be too few in Alaska. Hmm. I don't think we can do anything to save uh, to save uh, green. We don't need to protect now. Hmm. And our route to Mongolia is uh, protected. Uh, it's guarded by, by others, so, so we can't easily get through. So we, we we lost this cause to, to, to protect everyone, I, I'm afraid. Uh, and if so, and if so, I will just I will just capture the whole world now rather quickly. So I only need to protect myself here. So we We were not able to afford to be so civilized, so now we will turn into being really evil and just conquer the whole world as soon as possible. Yeah, and 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 they are attacking us, and they are attacking us still. 
So no no mercy. There will be no mercy. We we try to be civilized. No one no one can take this away from us. We try to be civilized, but unfortunately, the rest of the world uh, didn't want to be so civilized, and they were biting us. They were biting us when we were trying to help them, and now we will simply destroy. Them. We will destroy them. We will destroy them as soon as we can. So, to do this, to do this, uh, let's leave things here as they are for now. And what? Uh, probably, uh, probably capture, uh, probably capture Europe. Uh, can we protect Europe? Hmm, no. Well, in fact, Africa. In fact, Africa will be the easiest to, to capture. So we will start with Africa. Let's see what computer will do. You... Yeah, that might be really... Oh, that's a surprise. That's a surprise. Note that green still exists. It's a bit like a free market. We stopped controlling and they started to thrive because they are now free to make their own choices. Um, and they are free to show their own initiative and it is not necessarily what we imagine that purple already eradicated green so so you see we we we, we stopped controlling everyone but everyone still leaves and this is another lesson there are many contradictive lessons today and uh, it's exactly like from history there are many contradictive uh, lessons but history will end History will end in one way or the other. We will simply end this game. tries to rebuild our next goal Africa our next goal Africa are we still safe here yes safe here uh, purple is a bit of a threat but don't worry about this too much yeah try to try to capture the rest of Africa We are very powerful here, we, we don't need to be... Yeah, that was enough. That was quite enough. We should not lose any armies, we already will move them here. So, it will be probably not so... Uh, not so long we will capture Africa. And remember, still everyone exists. Still, all players live. They, they try to attack us, and this is very good, because they, they limit their forces. They limit their forces. So, 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 now we are, we are, we are much better, and maybe, maybe, but, yeah, don't, don't yet. <gasps> no! It is not true that everyone lives. We eradicated light blue. Okay, okay, so if we are a killer, if we are a killer, let's kill everyone. 
uh, because we are we are now not a good not a good ones. We are not good ones any any longer. We uh, killed. We did a genocide. Uh, we did terrible things. We eradicated the whole species, the whole um, the, the whole nation. We are bad guys, and if we are bad guys, we are going to be even more bad. So we will we will just capture the whole world, we will destroy everyone because we are true evil. We are true. Evil. But not so fast, not so fast. They are really aggressive. And I want to act too quickly. But I think I think we are good. And you know what? If we no longer care about protecting can use these forces from France and now Africa like that. We are evil now. We will just eradicate all nations. Good. Uh, purple. You still have potential to harm us. But that was for the last time. Was for the last time, I think. But we still can't enjoy our draft from, from Africa. Next, next will be Europe. Europe is really easy to control once you captured Africa. Because that will require only what? Only Russia and uh, Middle East to control. Mm, and we have forces here, so we can... Uh, ah, I need to add some. So I will add uh, forces here. Uh, now we have... So we can go like that. Like that. this 14 yeah we don't care we eradicated uh, dark blue we will now move our forces because we are we are now really evil empire this is this is also what happens uh, a good empire might turn into evil empire and then it will conquer the whole world and it will be the true end of history. Not the end of history that we planned, not the civilized end of history. That will be really evil end of history. R right. Uh, quick look at our potentials. Yeah, so two players killed. Uh, we are really unstoppable, right? This is, this is quite obvious. Uh, so now we will start from Alaska. I'm not sure yet yeah, now we, we can't capture the whole but yeah take take one. They were so painful for us. Mm, here with, with minimal I, I will take Japan with minimal force. This is not what the United States did during the Second World War II. They used um, force they that, that was needed. Uh, right, we need to stop here probably, and just wait for the rest of reinforcements. No, not this. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I left this, but. Yeah, it's just a small detour. Still attack. Oh, 
Ah, oh, this is the main force we need to destroy and then everything will be easy. Our evil forces are now on conquest of the world. Can I capture now the whole Australia? And I will do this. Capture New Zealand and what? We like her to go back here now. I want to capture India with a lethal force armies and now what? And now what? I can only attack from here, but this is all to end this. This is End of history. True end of history. Uh, we eradicated all other pr players. I'm sorry. We just turned evil when we realized that we killed our first victim. This is what happens. This is what happens in the real life. So, let's finish this. We really won. I forgot to go to the victory screen, but it, it doesn't really matter. Okay, thank you much for, 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 for having fun. I hope you had fun. Uh, and uh, let's see, let's see um, what we will do next time. Uh, I quite enjoy this game. Thank you very much. Have a have a nice day everyone. Bye bye.